time to musk up. Wow. All right, back again. Today I want to do something a little bit different. I haven't done this in a while, and we're just going to sniff four florist fragrances that somebody from the community have, uh, actually gifted to me. So thank you very much to you. And this house is a British house, very old. They make a lot of kind of gentleman-like fragrances, um, a lot of fougeres, barbershop fougeres. And the one that I mainly tried that I remembered was in Burlington, uh, excuse me, uh, Bergdorf Goodman in New York City, and that was Santal. And the reason why I really wanted to try that one was because it was supposed to smell like Gucci Envy. And I definitely understood why people, you know, compared those two, but I found it just didn't have what Gucci Envy had. This one was actually very kind of lavender heavy and kind of uh, peppery and aromatic while Gucci NV had ginger, what? That's not the point. Let's just get right into it. So I'm gonna smell these fragrances on a blotter. I'm gonna spray them on. I'm gonna talk about them a little bit. And then I'm gonna look on Fragrantica and see what I get. And we will find out how much I actually know. Uh, let's, uh, I'm gonna say not that much, but we're gonna try my best. <laughs> or I'm gonna try my best. Here we go. All right, so the first one that I'm gonna try is Floris number 007 and if I'm not mistaken I think this was supposed to be a scent for a uh, bond James Bond and all right whatever here we go got my Christian Dior Privé blotter number 007 hope these are sprayers yeah they're sprayers all right okay here we go One spray, you don't need a lot. I know some people drench blotters. Shouldn't do it and then let it air out a little bit. Okay, here we go. That was pretty nice. Uh, very peppery and woody. That's the, that's the first thing that I got. Um, I'm definitely smelling amber woods here. It's, it's obvious. Dryness. I guess that's spicy, a little aromatic, and floral. There's definitely some florals here. I don't know. I want to say maybe definitely some lavender. Very nice. You know, while it is a little synthetic, but there's still some, and I don't mean synthetic in, in like cheap or in a bad way, but just something not natural. And, but there's something but there is something natural in here too. And I'm getting some nice floral touches. Although lavender is technically a floral, although we kind of classify it as aromatic usually. But I get kind of like this reddish hues here. Maybe some rose, I don't know. And I'm also getting some like, some like grassy, tones here definitely some citrus got to be some citrus in here maybe lemon and bergamot possibly and then maybe geranium it's probably geranium that's giving off that effect but this is very nice actually not gonna lie and i think they're priced very very fairly for 100 ml nice bottles yeah this isn't bad like i can see james bond wearing something like this like you could be in a in a black suit white shirt black tie yeah not bad so let's see let's go to the notes here let's go to fragrantica no pyramid i'll put it up there we go okay so geranium bergamot Orange, juniper, carnation, rose, rosemary, sandalwood, oak moss, amber, and musk. All right, so no lavender, but I did get that watery kind of rosy effect here, which is coming from that geranium, bergamot, no lemon, 
but there's orange here. And now that I, sweet orange, now that they mention it, you see, that's why you should always smell a fragrance first before you look at the notes. It's, it really is like a, like a mind game. Rosemary, definitely some rosemary here, yeah. And that kind of icy cold juniper, very fresh and that carnation, that kind of vintage spicy floral carnation. This is really nice. And the in the woods here that I was getting is a sandalwood. So it is rather, although there is some sharpness here, it is rather, it's still a, a little smooth. I'm sure the sandalwood will come through a couple of hours in, but there's a note of amber and, I'm, and I would assume that's probably the amber woods in here. A little musky. Maybe some oak moss, green, crunchy hues. So that could be the oak moss. So I, I don't know. It's one of the neighbor's dogs. This dog barks all day long. Anyways, really nice. This isn't bad. So far, so good. Okay, next up is Vert Fougere. Vert Fougere. And, there, and I've noticed that there's notes on the back here, but I'm trying not to read them. <laughs> All right, here we go. Got it back. Sorry, I have to close the window. Sheesh. All right. All right. Vert Fougere. Here we go. Oh. Okay. I'm I'm really impressed, I'm not going to lie with the overall first impressions of uh the florist fragrances. Ooh, this is really aromatic, really green, really spicy really dry um the first thing that i, I want to say like in, i'm getting some very kind of angelic rootiness here vetiver grassy but it has this underneath it does have this this like cologne -y kind of smell like if you would over spray this you would easily come off like the like the cologne guy but but again very gentleman like masculine leaning oh, this is this one is really really interesting maybe some time i think there's got to be time in here if there's no time in here i don't even know what i'm doing time maybe some rosemary as well got to be some black pepper in here kind of cold and incensey as well woody very spiky like oh, i don't know maybe like there's a galbanum in here this is really nice too but, but rather kind of cologne i don't know let's see yeah i mean no there's no really no time here all right so the notes are galbanum so i got that one so that's that sharp green spikiness here that i'm getting here and the bergamot, I definitely get those kind of green tea-like facets and the grapefruit. Uh, I mean, as that they mention it, yeah, I, it's very uh, kind of sour. The, the citrus is here, and I do get that from grapefruit a lot. But there's ginger in the mid, neroli, lavender, smoke in the base, cashmeran, synthetic material, cedar, amber, and patchouli. So I'm starting to think maybe if this is kind of like these fragrances are really nice at the top, but then they kind of lackluster in the base. I don't know, obviously, because this is just the first impressions that I'm getting. But overall at the top, it, it's interesting. It's nice, right? Although the, it's the Neroli here. That's kind of like throwing me off. Kind of that sharp, almost bathroom air freshener kind of smell i think that's what it is you see once you look at the notes and you see a note that you're not really a fan of it's just like mm. definitely a patchouli here 
I definitely get some kind of dry, chocolatey, woody, green facets from a patchouli here. Kind of dirty, soily. I definitely get that, but it's just it's just way too um, way too sharp and piercing, in my opinion. So vert fougere, not for me, but nice. Okay, next up on the list is Sephiro, Flores Sephiro. All right, all right, Sephiro. You know what that actually reminds me of? Uh, I'm gonna look at Vert Fougere. I'm gonna go to, reminds me of that bergamot top is reminding me of Creed Aventus. I mean, uh, people aren't comparing it to that, but it gives me that kind of fougere version of Creed Aventus. Anyways, Sephiro, here we go. Soapy, very soapy. Very nice, actually, too. You see, that's my first impression on these because they're citrus top, so it's hard to not really like it, right? But... Oh, this has got to be tobacco. This reminds me of like um, Aramis Havana, a lot of those old school, dry, kind of damp tobacco fragrances. That's what this reminds me of. Citrus top, almost marine-like, maybe some Kalon in here, some orange blossom. I think there's got to be some orange blossom in here. Very nice, but Again, very cologne -y. Like, if you oversprayed this, you would get comments like you're the cologne guy. But very gentleman-like. Like, I could see you dress this one down a little bit. Kind of like a, a linen button down, untucked. Let's see what the verdict is on this one. All right, here we go. So, no tobacco. Go figure. But... What I'm getting is the nutmeg. This reminds me of, what is that fragrance that looks like the, and I'm gonna put a photo of it. I forgot the name of it, but that's what it reminds me of because that one has a, uh, a big note of nutmeg in it and it kind of reminds me of that. But there is bergamot, Amalfi lemon, orange, mandarin orange, lime, jasmine, nutmeg, cardamom, sandalwood, Virginia cedar, and musk. And there's definitely a big hit of lemon here. Um, the longer it's on here, it's kind of starting to remind me of some sort of cleaner. Definitely the jasmine. I definitely get some white floral touches here. Uh, I guess maybe that the jasmine and the orange here mixing is kind of giving me that orange blossom effect. But I definitely get some dry spiciness from the nutmeg here. Definitely get a lot of that. But this is this kind of leans towards the citrus aromatic uh, category, kind of an eau de cologne. Not overly woody, but I definitely get some uh, some woodiness here. Um, and there's definitely a lot of sharp isoe super in here. And definitely musky. So the musk here is really giving all these other notes lift and giving off this kind of cologne-like smell. It's nice, but not something I would gravitate towards. Just, it, this just might remind some people of uh, something that you would clean your house with. Platinum 22 in this different color. Oops. Platinum 22, here we go, last one see if I can guess anything correct on this one. Here we go. Oh, no. Very musky, woody. Citrusy. I definitely get bergamot here. Gotta be bergamot and maybe grapefruit. Aromatics, woods. Maybe some spices. I swear, I feel like everything here has black pepper, but I haven't hit on that once yet. 
There's some florals here, maybe some white florals. Jasmine. All very masculine leaning, I would say mostly. There's definitely something metallic here. There's gotta be some sort of uh, synthetic material here. Maybe some Ambroxan, there's gotta be musks in here. Maybe some patchouli. Rose, geranium. I'm getting some light red hues here. The only thing I got right here was the black pepper and the musk. Cause I feel like most of the, and the rose, I got that one. Feel like that's mostly what's running through a lot of these fragrances is that, that musk. And there's amber here, so it's definitely amber wood heavy. So it's giving this a lot of lift. These fragrances are pretty damn strong, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but this is kind of interesting. So we have iris, lime, and black currant at the top. In the mid, we have black tea, black pepper, clary sage, violet leaf, rose, and then in the base, we got tonka beans, cedar, amber, and musk. Now, I d now that you, they mention it, right, I definitely get this kind of Oris like touches here, but it's not something that that I'm usually used to. It's very soapy here, but a lot of the other notes are kind of drowning out the Oris here. But it's definitely a powdery fragrance. I do find that mix of green tea and the Oris here rather nice. And there's definitely some sweetness here. This kind of dry almondy sweetness which I would say is from the Tonka, but there's also kind of this fruity sweetness that I guess is coming from the black currant. Again, very dry fragrance, a lot of amber woods, but it is what it is. A lot of black pepper. The main things I'm getting here is that the Oris kind of mixing with that black currant, kind of giving off this purplish hue. And I'm sure the violet leaf is giving off that effect uh, as well. Also coming off kind of ozonic. Black tea, definitely. This is nice. This is not bad. I would I would definitely say the, the very first one that I tried, uh, 007, is probably my favorite. But this would be second. The other two, definitely third and fourth. But this is nice. I'll definitely give this a try on skin and see how it, uh, it works. But very nice. Very... Uh, floral powdery woody spicy musky kind of aromatic as well i'm definitely starting to get more of that violet leaf i'm definitely getting that 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 petrol vibe here maybe a little leathery too that's becoming very interesting all right well that is my sampling of flora's fragrances uh let me know if you've tried any of these and what you think i'm definitely gonna go to I know Bergdorf Goodman carries them. When I head back into the into New York City, I'm gonna try some more out. All right, hope you enjoyed that. Thank you. Take care.